All right, today we're gonna to show you what to do with a 15 pound prime rib. Stay tuned. to make a prime rib and it's going to be done by Steve and Garrett which are pros at doing this they use it's a simple harsh horseradish cream salt pepper and they're going to tie it with some string and we're going to come back to you and show you how we do it okay now Steve's gonna put the horseradish on it sauce can help with this or what no <laughs> And look how Garrett, Garrett's so good, he can turn a, a pepper shaker. <laughs> That's, uh, again, using the cracked peppercorn, black pepper, peppercorn. And this is so good. What this coating's going to do is season the outside and help seal all the juices on the inside as it goes on the rotisserie on the grill. Kim, can I have you use some of the salt? Ooh. Like this? Oh. Yeah, just, yeah no, Kim, no. can you help our just, special just, guest? The whole thing. Uh, you yeah. sure? I don't yeah. want to. Put her on. That's what I'm always Put her saying. on. Come on, Kim. You know you don't measure. Put her on. There you go, you Kim. Still? I yeah. like it. Yeah. Keep going. Man. Keep going. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you got to season your meat, here. people. You have to season your meat. Is that good? Okay, that's good for right now. Your hands are going to taste good later, Dad. I get the butt pieces the best. Okay, ready to flip. Then you turn it over, and now we're going to do the other side. Okay. Use very generously. That's yeah. right. The more the merrier. A lot of it's going to drip off, melt off, hopefully not Ooh, burn spicy. off. That's right. It yeah. makes like a little crust thing. It's so good. Yep. That might be yummy. That looks yummy to me. Good. I'm glad to hear that. You're better than my cousins. Hey, Kim. All right. Put it on. Pepper there. Oh. <laughs> It'll make any difference. Like I said, most of this all, I mean, it's got it going on to a lot of meat, so. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> it won't go to waste. Paint there or something up on top, you know. And when you're done, you can lick your fingers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put some more salt on the missing. Oh, more salt? Yeah. Sure. Can. Is it just called clear coat? Mm-hmm. It's just a clear, okay. sealer. Okay. I'm learning to make. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our rotisserie spear. I gotta wipe my, of course, my hands first. Put yep. this thing on. So we're gonna come back and get get it all. And show you how it's done. Ready to go for the grill. Don't watch your fingers. I know. I'm trying to get so it stays in place for you. Here. That's 
it's been right underneath my fingers, which is good. It's good. I got the sides. Sure. I got yeah, the sides. It's Go ahead. It's underneath my fingers. I felt it. There you go. It came out in the middle. Keep on going. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Yum. You need the other. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. 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 Very nice. So there we go. Now we go over to the grill. Today we're we'll be cooking on the Weber Spirit. We have two of them here at the resort, the Black Hole Resort, Washington State. Okay, right, let's, let's take a look. Oh, so we're hooked in on skillet. this side. The, the electric rotisserie over here on this side. Got a little drip pan there. Got three yeah. burners down there. You need to spin it down to make sure it's not going to... We're going to see if this 15 pounder is going to be too big for the grill. Is it not on? Oh, yeah, turn on that switch. This is the Weber grill. Very nice grill. There it goes. Almost 20 pounds, I think, yeah. And it's going. Is it hitting it? Kind of. I mean, hit it a little bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on about, uh, what, about 250, 300 degrees? We're going to let it cook for three and a half to four hours. <laughs> so we'll come cooking, back yeah. later after we've uh, started. Catch it just a little bit right there. All right, we're doing an update on the prime rib. Season it up a little more. It's been on one hour. It's getting a nice cooked look on it. Nice bronze. These rotisseries are really nice. So we're making good progress. So one hour down, about three hours left. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours on the prime rib. Let's take a look at it, Steve. Bam! Look at that. Woo -hoo. Two and a half hours at 300 degrees, plus or minus. We've been slowly sucking off the grease on the bottom so it doesn't flare up. So the catch pan's doing its job. So right now, two and a half hours. About an hour to go. We'll test it, but I think it's going to go about an hour and a half because she's thick. So, just giving you an update. All right, let's take this uh, prime rib off. It's been on for four hours. We got to 135 degrees during the center and 150 degrees on the outside. This was at 300 degrees. Plus or minus temperature. Eight months later, I'm doing the same, same set of racks again because I'm changing. You know, we are going to see what this bad boy looks like. Mm -hmm. That looks good. All right, we're going to cut all the twine off, strings off, or whatever to unleash this beast. Why do we take those jet skis and move them around the other end of the dock and then we can use the ladder? First thing you need to do is get somebody with a sharp knife. <laughs> there you go. Got it going on. I'm just gonna go for it. Like. There it is. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're filming here live on YouTube. That's Joe Black, the owner of the Black Hole Resort. Birthday <laughs> boy. Raising the roof. Raising the roof. There's a secret behind the Black Hole Resort. We're not going to go into it right now. Okay, throw all the strings on there. Yeah. All right. This is this is just Joe, owner and president of the Black Hole Resort. Cutting his finger off. Cutting off knob, doing the taste test, making sure it's okay. All right. Whack attack. Whack that sucker off. Wait for a fork. 
to start cutting? Start cutting. All right. You're the boss. Act you're like you've done this before. You're the producer. You guys are dangerous. Look at this right here, folks. This right here is going to feed 50. That's the, that's the rear end. Oh, that's yeah. Rear end. That's Garrett. There's going to be fight for the ends. I know there will be. So on the end of the prime rib is going to be the most well done. The closer you get to the center, the more rare. That's where I need to be. I don't even take pictures. When do the guests start eating? As soon as you get out of the way. As soon as you get done cutting. Well, so somebody better come and start eating, I think. Because <laughs> this will cool off fast, though. This electric knife makes you cut pretty thin. Yeah, we got to cut it thin. We got a lot of people to feed. So we got to have some people just show up because this is going to be so good. So much food, it has to be. I don't think you want them real thick because nobody's going to be able to eat them. Oh, yeah, anyway. you want thin. Ooh, those are going to be good pieces right there. Look at that. I hope it's showing up on old GP. Kind of pink in the middle. Should be getting to the little rare spot right now in the center. That was 135 degrees. So here we are cooking with Kim outdoors at the Black Hole Resort, Eastern Washington. Have a little prime rib, jalapeno poppers, some potatoes, and a good family. Hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe and share. Comment below, thumbs up please. Look at that right there. That's perfect right there in the center. Mm -mm -mm. See you next time. <laughs>